the No Fate channel, checking in. And today I'm going to give you my three week review of SA Fishing Alpha Defense Neck Gators. I'm going to do a whole comparison of the company, the Gators, how they've held up, all that good stuff, including cost. And I'm going to compare it to some of the other neck Gators that I've received from other companies. So, first and foremost, if this is your first time to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. As a dad of two, I mainly just do reviews to help you decide what might be beneficial in your life and what is gonna be worth your hard earned money because there's nothing worse than spending money to find out that it was wasted. In a few previous video, I got a whole bunch of SA fishing neck gaiters. So how have I liked using neck gaiters in general for a face covering? Um, for those of you who might come to this video late, we're now kind of almost post Rona, Massachusetts is starting to open up where I live and everywhere you go you need to have a face covering and I will say that these neck gaiters make excellent face coverings. I typically double them up, throw them over my mouth, wrap it around the back of my head and I am able to just kind of get in, get my shopping done, interact with people and get on with my business. I will say it is tough to talk through uh, but you really when you go shopping you're not talking to too many people um, and what's nice about these is when you're done with that one interaction you take it, throw it in the wash and you move on to the next one. They're all so cheap um, overall that you know they get the job done now keep in mind when you wear a face covering of any sort even if it's an N95 mask you're wearing it not that you don't catch anything you're wearing it so that you don't spread what germs you might have and not know you have keep in mind most of the people you see with an N95 mask they're not even wearing it correctly it's not fastened in, a, in, in the correct way to be airtight so that they're breathing properly through it so that's why I happen to like these because you know you put them on you cover your face you prevent people from catching anything you might have and you just throw them in the wash to disinfect them. So often I go out sh shopping and when I do go out shopping people have face masks and they're either under their neck or they're under their nose and they're not really serving the purpose. With regards to the company in general SA Fishing in the previous video I mentioned they have multiple different companies with different names that are marketed differently but they all sell the same stuff and I also mentioned at the other video that when I got my initial order it didn't have the, 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 the neck gaiters that I specifically ordered in terms of the design. Um, and I did reach out to the company after a number of days. They got back to me and said that they would send me extra gaiters to make up for it. And now it's all been almost two and a half weeks and those gaiters, those neck gaiters haven't shown up. Um, so I will say it's a shame that I, I understand that they're dealing with a lot of stuff because of Rona. But when I looked back, their better business rating prior to the Rona was like a C. And I got a feeling it hasn't gotten any better. And shame on uh, the SA Fishing. They know that they are backlogged with orders and all this other stuff, but their marketing is still full force. Whenever I go on Facebook or Instagram or any other social media, media, I see tons and tons of their advertisements. So the fact that they're still advertising, knowing that they don't have the product that they're offering to sell is a shame. Also, with respect to the design, I will say that the most of the designs didn't come out as good as they look in marketing. Go figure that the stuff that they market to you online doesn't look nearly as good in person. And that's why I would recommend if you're going to get a neck gator, make sure that you get one that has like a pat has like either like a non recognizable pattern. Because when you get something like a joker face like this one, you think it's going to look super cool like in the marketing, but it never looks that good. This one even after two washes I think this one's been washed only twice. It's super faded. And unless you have this on the specific way you're never going to get the joker face to be in front of your mouth like you want all right so unless you know exactly how you want to look maybe you get like a funny photo for instagram that one time it's never going to be the, it's never going to be the way you want so again i would definitely go towards a pattern or a solid color um, overall now these supposedly have a lifetime warranty but again i wouldn't really hold any uh i wouldn't hold anything to that lifetime warranty just because it's almost impossible to get a hold of SA Fishing. They shut down their call-in uh, customer service, and I can't even get through now with their online customer service. It, it's there, but you can't get a response whatsoever. Also, one of my biggest complaints or concerns was the tops are not sewn down, and after washing, I have seen a noticeable amount of fraying at the tops. And keep in mind, over the past three weeks, each of these has probably only been washed twice, maybe three times. And I'm, I'm starting to see some fraying. So I will say that I don't expect these to last a lifetime. And I don't expect these um, probably to last me three years. So they're probably going to get like a year or maybe two out of each one. But I have liked them. Not only as face masks, but now that the summertime is almost here, I've been using them to cover up my neck and skin. Now let's compare it to some of the other ones that I've received. So I have received 
a number of other ones that are made out of different material. As I mentioned in previous videos, these stretch, these stretch this way around the neck, but they don't stretch lengthwise, right? So I've gotten some that are like this, that, that do stretch lengthwise, and they do stretch around the neck. And these are actually sewn at the ends. They're made out of a completely different fabric, and they are a lot darker. In terms of sun protection, which is, as a pale person, the reason that I would be using many of these during the summertime around my neck is to keep that sun off my neck. These are going to offer a lot more sun protection, whether they're singled up or doubled up, than these just because they're a lot more just dense, or you can Hopefully the camera picks it up. I can see through these a lot easier than I can these. And also the patterns are a lot more vivid. Even after a few washes with these, the patterns are a lot more vivid than the SA fishing ones. In terms of cost, I mean, like I'm obviously bashing SA fishing or Alpha Defense with respect to their customer service and their shipping um, and not delivering what I actually, I actually picked out and they said they were going to deliver. But I will say the cost is okay. The cost is there. I think I paid four or five dollars a piece for these and since i made that first video i saw even another uh code i think it was like sa25 a checkout to get another two additional neck gaiters so you're looking at less than five dollars a piece for these and i think you're going to get your money's worth if you order these and again stick to the solid patterns i think you're going to be better off in terms of how they're going to look with regardless of how you're wearing them um the, the other ones that i was able to buy online that were different fabric i think are going to be better with regards to sun protection Keep in mind, something like this is probably like an SA-15 to an SA-30, uh, depending if you have it like doubled up or singled up. Um, I happen to think something like this, which is a different fabric altogether, is going to be more like you know, closer to an SA-50 uh, in terms of sun protection for those of you who are pale skinned like me. And these came in at like 5 or $6 a piece as well. If I had to pick, if I was only going to get a few and I wasn't going to buy in bulk and I, I wanted to make sure I got them in the foreseeable future, I would certainly go online. And I'll put Amazon affiliate links to the ones that I bought here um, because I just think overall you're going to get more sun protection. You're going to get a sewn edge, which is going to make these allow these to last a little bit longer than uh, this style. And the shipping because it's Amazon will be at least much better than these SA Fishing ones. Hopefully in the future, SA Fishing can fix their uh, shipping. They can fix their customer service and they can make amends for sending people a whole bunch of neck gaiters in the wrong designs that they promised. Uh, but overall, I definitely think these make great head coverings, and I definitely think these are going to be excellent in the future for sun protection, at least from someone like me, who is extremely pale. Oftentimes, I'll wear something like this style to, and hopefully you can see, protect my neck, protect my sides, my ears, and then I'm so pale, I'll actually throw a hat over on top of it. But something like this, it's not tight, it's not really cinched up, there's no like compression on the neck, so I don't feel like I'm choking myself. But you get a lot of that sun protection, and it's thin enough that you're not really going to overly sweat or overly heat. Um, again, you can do the same thing with, with these SA Fishing ones, but these come in a little bit tighter. These come in a little bit tighter. Both of these were pulled just, just now out of the dryer. Um, so these come in a little bit tighter. So something like this is a lot more uncomfortable. If I put it too high up on top of my head, i got to try to really make sure it's stretched out otherwise i feel like almost like it's choking me up around the neck so um depends on your preference depends on how you're going to wear it but as you can see hopefully the camera's picking this up this is a lot lighter with respect to the sun penetrating um overall i think these are highly versatile if you go camping if you do yard work if you're just afraid of the sun like i am or especially if you're looking for that face covering something like these neck gaiters these neck wraps whatever you want to call them uh, definitely the way to go and you should be paying around four to six dollars a piece that's a fair price um, obviously when you buy in bulk especially at SA fishing and you rock that I think it's like that the, their coupons on top of SA 25 coupon you can get these for like maybe three dollars a piece which is which is okay but if I had to pick which style I preferred I definitely prefer you know this style which is more of like a stretchy fabric um, and it's more denser than this fabric over here but I mean again we're splitting hairs really uh, in terms of absorption i don't think these are going to absorb very much but it's probably nicer on your skin overall for absorption and sweatability if you want to call it like that than these are but for me i'm usually a big fan of sun protection so i'm going to go with these uh over these if i had to pick hopefully this review helped you with regards to whether you decide to go with sa fishing or alpha defense for your neck gaiters and hopefully it helped you decide um, if using neck gaiters as facial coverings when you're going out to shop or what have you um, is something that you want to try or you think might be better than just buying uh, those, those really like 
50 cent masks and wearing them for like half, you know, for a couple weeks and then throwing it away and getting another one. Uh, I don't know. I prefer the neck gaiters over the masks. But hey, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you have any experiences with SA Fishing Alpha Defense masks or any of the other neck gaiters, drop them in the comments below. And if you have any company that I definitely need to grab a hold of and try out with regards to neck gaiters, drop it in the comments below. I love getting comments. I love just building the community we have and helping each other find out what's right for our needs and what's right for our hard earned money. If you came this far in the video, you know what to do. Give this video a like, hit that subscribe button, use my Amazon affiliate links in the description below. If you need any neck gaiters or if you just happen to shop on Amazon, click on that link, it helps me out, it helps keep the lights on. As usual, thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back. I am dedicated to helping you be a great parent to your children and still accomplish your own personal goals. I provide ideas and insights to help you save time, money, and your sanity. Three things that are in short supply for every parent out there.